safety of animals is being questioned at a well-known local pet shelter. Employees of Friends of Strays in St. Petersburg tell our I-Team there currently isn't anyone at the shelter with any medical training and unqualified workers are medicating cats and dogs. I-Team investigator Michael George has the story tonight. A couple of us did ask, well, we can't medicate new animal, you know, animals that get sick because we have no tech or veterinarian here on the premises. And she's told us that we knew what we were doing. Nicole Corsella says she's just trained to clean kennels. She's not qualified to medicate dogs and cats, but that's what she's being ordered to do. She's not aware of any animals being harmed due to a mistake, but she's worried it's just a matter of time. It's hurting these animals. Nicole's not the only employee making that claim. The animals are suffering for it. We have no qualifications. They're not getting the medical attention they need. It's been awful. These five kennel employees work at Friends of Strays, a nonprofit shelter that's been rescuing cats and dogs in St. Petersburg for 35 years. The employees claim after a vet tech was fired, they've been forced to take over medications of more than 200 cats and dogs without any training or any supervision from a vet. I'm afraid that like something's going to get missed, like a cat's going to like be injured or sick for longer than it needs to be. Florida law says a licensed vet is required to supervise the treatment of animals. The shelter's director told us the employees are being supervised. A vet comes in once a week and oversees all medical decisions by phone and email. But employees claim in some cases, medications for cats were changed without consulting the vet. If we don't make a stand, like, no one else is going to. And after we started asking questions, all five employees who voiced their concerns told us they were fired by friends of strays. The shelter wouldn't answer questions about their termination or agree to an on-camera interview, but told us in an email, quote, like any workplace, we have experienced recent staff changes. Right now, we are working diligently to find qualified, dedicated individuals to help us care for these homeless animals and be a part of a great team serving a great cause. The employees we spoke with say they now plan to file a complaint with Florida's Department of Business and Professional Regulation. If you'd like to read the full response from Friends of Strays, you'll find it on our website, abcactionnews.com. I'm ITM investigator Michael George, ABC Action News. And if you have something you'd like to have Michael and the iTeam investigate, you can join them on Facebook or you can email them at iTeam at abcactionnews.com.